Good evening and welcome to the news of Al Shuruq TV. Today's stories include Both Sudan and Egypt agreed that the tri party agreement on the Ethiopian Dam is crucial. The Security and Defense Council decide on new measures for security situations. The coronavirus infection cases have risen to 2,728. Both Sudan and Egypt agree on Tuesday that the tri-party agreement is crucial for filling of the Great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam reservoirs. The Sudan government has stated that they would work to narrow the gaps between the Egyptian and Ethiopian views over the controversial dam, but they also reiterated their support for the Washington brokered process to settle the dispute on filling the $2 million dam. It was only 24 hours after the return of the ministerial delegate that discussed the matter with the Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed in Addis Ababa that the Sudanese Prime Minister, Mr. Abdullah Hamdok, discussed the findings with the Egyptian counterpart, Mr. Mustafa Madbouli. The Security and Defense Council has issued a number of measures after receiving a report on the overall security situation in the country. The SDC has asserted the need to strengthen the capabilities of the police and the judicial organs to enable them to carry out their work in maintaining peace by intensifying the security in the area of tribal conflict, taking precautionary measures to prevent conflict and to increase the efforts of, for the collection of all unlicensed weapons outside the control of the regular forces. The SDC stressed in a press statement the importance of enhancing confidence, support, and developing the partnership between the components of the transitional government and the evolution of their performance so that the transitional period achieves its goals. The Sudanese government appeared closer to a settlement in the lawsuit related to the 1998 twin bombings of the U.S. embassies in Kenya and Nairobi. An unidentified U.S. State Department official told the Wall Street Journal that following extensive negotiations, we believe that we have reached a common understanding with Sudan on the contours of a future bilateral claim agreement. There was no comment from Khartoum on the report, which came a day after the U.S. Supreme Court revived the possibility of collecting $4.3 million in punitive damages from Sudan in the same case. The delegation of the Sovereign and Minister Council included the members of the SC Mr. Mohammed Al Fakih Suleiman, Maulana Hassan Mohammed Sheikh Idris, and the Youth and Sports Minister Ms. Wala Al Bushi. They praised the commitment, concern, and devotion of the people of the Nuba and the Beni Amir and the Habab tribes to implement the reconciliation of agreement of Al Gilad signed last year in Al Ghadar State. During the meeting with the delegation of the Nuba, the Bani Amir, and the Habab tribes, which was in the presence of the state government Major General Nasruddin Abdel Gaim, the delegation of the SC and the Council of Ministers commended the eagerness of the two parties on abandoning differences and violence and to ignore those who spread rumors, a matter which was positively reflected on the peace and coexistence witnessed during the last period. The Federal Ministry of Health announced the registration of 137 new coronavirus infections, in addition to six deaths. The epidemic report on Sunday stated that the cases were registered in the state of Khartoum, where 99 cases in Kesela, 13, in Al Ghadarif, 7, in Sinar, 6, the northern states, 5, Al Jazeera, 3, the Red Sea, 3, and South Darfur state had one case. The fatalities registered were three deaths in Khartoum states, two deaths in Al Jazeera states, and one death in the River Nile state from the previously reported cases which brings the total number of infection cases of the coronavirus since the beginning of the pandemic in Sudan 
to 2,728 cases, including 111 deaths. Reminding headlines. Both Egypt and Sudan agree that the tri-party agreement on the Ethiopian dam is crucial. The Security and Defense Council decides on new measures for security situations. The coronavirus infection cases have risen to 2,728. That was everything from Al-Shuruq TV. See you next time.